This is just for you, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. You can show it to anybody who wants. Okay. I have no privacy issues. Oh, yes. No privacy. That, so. so this is the 12 bar blues that uh, I'm going to do E, A, and B. You can do it with any other chord structure you want, but that's the one that I'm starting with. Because the E major blues scale that you use for soloing is probably one of the easiest ones to learn. Um, so yeah, the, the chords down here are pretty much just these three strings for an E minor, and then you just move down to A minor. I just use one finger down there to cover okay. both the strings. Are you getting the fretboard in there? Yeah, I have it, yeah. And then B is the same three strings. So it doesn't matter if you hit all the strings or just two of the strings, just as long as, because you're going to just have like this flow or this chunky. Another big part is also the muting back here. Okay. The, the muting that you use on the back of the strings. Mm -hmm. Now I can't do it. So that's, that's the basic rundown of the riff is... Oh. I usually don't even pick that note, but <laughs> I used to when I first started. Is you just hit that G with your middle finger. If you hit it hard enough, you don't have to pick it. Um, then I added in the that little walk down in between at the end of every measure. Somebody told me a long time ago that the easiest part about playing the blues is you can't play the blues wrong. No, that's what I've been told too. Yeah, <laughs> you can yeah. Do whatever you want. Yeah. So that uh, that also makes it a lot easier. So that. Um, that little progression is on the E and the A. And when I get to the B, I'll show you a couple different variations that I play. One's just with the regular B major chord, and the other one's with a B12, which is uh, um, this, the, this string is muted by this finger, mm -hmm. and then it's the second fret, first fret, second fret, open, second fret. Mm -hmm. It's a B12. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, let's just play through it once. phrase because the phrase just repeats forever. I like that one when I continue in you go up to the A bar chord mm -hmm. and you just slide it up those two frets. Mm -hmm. so this is that you can do it down here too but uh, it's not as quick. Mm -hmm. So okay. if, if you're having trouble jumping up that fast with the uh, the full bar chord you can do it down here too. Another one is uh, you know you're gonna end here so you go one fret above it and down one. So it'd be like That's an A6. It's a regular A without the middle one. Oh, okay. So I like I like really ringing those out. And then I usually put in a different riff at the end of that. And then back yeah. to that. Okay. And what's fun about the E major blues scale is it usually follows most of the dots. And yeah. I usually jump up to this one because it's high enough that you know it's a lead and it's low enough you can get to it quick. So I do like a... And then how I end it, mm -hmm. I always do this. So F major, and then an E7. It's a regular E major without the middle one. Mm -hmm. 
get that right. So that's pretty neat. It is. <laughs> I sent you guys the image of blue sky. Right, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. put that all down. Yeah. So that's uh if you want to like if you record that down, uh well I'd do i you know, use a loop station or something, but if you want to do some multi track recording mm -hmm. or something, you put down that whole uh that whole riff mm -hmm. repeat it a few times. If you learn this box up here, you can stay there all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Push, Anything else? Which? Which? Yeah, what? just that one. Same again? Yep. Yeah.